who will protect our rights. These are the men and the women who deserve our support. And the question is, will you stand and defend the Constitution and our right to bear arms? If they can't answer that question, we're in trouble. For over 200 years, the Constitution of this country has been our contract with the government that will protect us against government intrusion. We should be able to take comfort in that protection as citizens of this country. But current events tell us that perhaps we cannot. We're told the Second Amendment does not really mean what it says. With all due respect, Sheriff. The opposition would have us rewrite the Second Amendment to reflect the evolution of our society. <coughs> we support a strict construction of the Constitution. It's that simple. The preamble to the Bill of Rights provides the conventions of a number of the states having the time of their adoption, adopting the Constitution, expressed a desire in order to prevent misconstruction or abuse of its powers, the further declaratory and restrictive clauses should be added in order to prevent misconstruction and abuse of its powers. The Second Amendment, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, <coughs> the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed, being, a, being necessary to the security of a free state. The Second Amendment is brief in its content and it's simple in its language and direct in its meaning in order to prevent misconstruction. Those of us who clearly see the purpose and intent of the Second Amendment are cast as radicals today. Amen. We're in trouble. Every time they talk about someone who owns a gun, we're radical, right-wing, conservative, Christian gun owners. Oh. Amen. The freedoms guaranteed by the Constitution now hang in the balance. The defense of our family, of our homes is at stake, and now is the time. Now is the time for each and every one of you in this room to stand up and be heard. Now is the time for each and every one of, this, of you in this room to make your presence known. Now is the time to make your vote count. If the gun laws that are presently on, the, that are being proposed in the state legislature pass, it is because we failed to stand up. And because we failed to vote, we failed to ask. And tonight, we ask that you begin contacting your elected officials. Now. We ask that you send them a message. <coughs> a message that is as brief and as simple as the Second Amendment. And it is this. Remind them that they were elected to represent you and your family. Remind them they swore an oath to defend the Constitution. And if they do not, remind them you will never vote for them again. Never again. Do not give anyone a second chance that refuses to defend you. If you're interested in a contact list for every elected official, Town of Paradise, Duke County, the state of California, and the federal government that affect your rights in this state, in this community, uh, let Mr. Alder or Mr. Dalton know we've prepared this list for you and we will email it to you for your use and reference. But in the meantime, the Paradise Tea Party wants you to ask that question. And one more time, will you stand and defend? the Constitution, and a right to bear arms. Thank you.
gentlemen, we've come to the end of our meeting. We appreciate, we thank you so much for so many people showing up. This is the biggest tea party meeting I've ever been to. Thank you for making it a success. A couple of minor things. Uh, because of uh, insurance purposes, we're not going to be able to use this building too many more times. It's, uh, it's cost prohibitive. We have uh, pinned an agreement with, uh, I think it's Annie's Cafe, right behind the Chamber of Commerce. It holds 80 or 90 people. And we'll be meeting there on the second and fourth to, uh, Thursdays of the month. Uh, every first meeting will be a general business meeting where we'll talk about strategies. Every uh, fourth Thursday of the month will be like this, a speaker's forum. We have some good speakers lined up. Uh, Senator uh, Nielsen is going to come talk to us about CARB. I think Mr. Uh, Simbleman Logue is coming up next. Another item, we pay for this by your donations. If everybody can give us a dollar or two on your way out, we'd appreciate it. And this was handed to me by a gentleman just uh, as I walked in. I didn't use it to open the meeting. I'm going to use it to close the meeting. So the sheriff and everyone will be available for uh, questions. Meeting adjourned. Thank you.